Hey, I'm Grump. I'm not so Grump. And we're the Game Grumps. Hey. Hello. <laughs> well, welcome, welcome to Doki Doki Literature Club. Welcome to Doki Doki Literature Club. All these girls have different color eyes. I have the song Smell Your Dick stuck in my head. <laughs> and a lot of people requested this game. Yeah, it's just a- it's Those just, are three facts. Yeah, I mean, it's just- it's just- it, it's just like any other dating game. Do, do, do. Um, but it's- it's just- it's- dick. it's just kind of funny, so... I'm into it. Hopefully you'll enjoy it. Dude, I mean, who could look at this title screen and not be like, I'm having a good time already. <laughs> yeah, well, you're gonna have a good time, I think. So you girls go to high school, or...? <laughs> <laughs> Enter uh, your name, Aaron. Uh... Friend Aaron? <laughs> friend Aaron. <laughs> Done. I am ready for dating. I am friend Aaron. We used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting... Around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently, and I would get tired of waiting up. I mean, sleep over, not oversleep. Sorry, I'm a stud. But she's going to chase after me like this. I almost feel better off running away. <laughs> However, I just <laughs> sigh and idle in front of the crosswalk, and let's say Yori catch up to me. I like to imagine he's just standing on the sidewalk, saying all this out loud, <laughs> yeah. loudly to himself. Man, say Yori's an interesting <laughs> girl because of some guy with like a like, briefcase walks like by, like inches. Away. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh. I overslept again. <laughs> Typical Sayori. But I caught you this time. Stop talking about me loudly. Maybe, but be <laughs> that's me. <laughs> oh. Maybe, but only because I decided to stop and wait for you. Eh, you said you were thinking about ignoring me. Get bigger hands. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I want you to say this. Oh, that's mean, friend Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> well, if people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. A couple of what? <laughs> fine, fine. A couple of tiny hands? I, I made this vest out of dragon scales. I was just gonna cut. <laughs> it looks like a fish. <laughs> but you did wait for me after all. <laughs> By the way, friend Aaron, have you decided on a club to join yet? Yeah, the Get Away From Sayori Club. A Club? <laughs> How about B Club? <laughs> I, oh, that's you. Oh. I told you already, I'm really not interested in joining any clubs. I haven't been looking either. Eh, that's not true. <laughs> Why did you sink for a second? <laughs> Help! <laughs> I'm standing in quicksand, and my tiny, supple hands <laughs> are useless for pulling me out. <laughs> They're like dead! <laughs> Sinking into the ocean! <laughs> you told me you would join a club this year. You lied to me. Did I? I was telling you about how I'm worried that you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills before college. Fuck you! Never mind, your social skills are great. <laughs> your happiness is really important to me, you know. And I know you're happy now, but I die at the thought of becoming a neat in a few years. I don't know what that means. Uh. I used to know. Because you're know not anymore. used to the real world. God damn it, I have to look up what a need is. You trust me, right? Don't make me keep worrying about you, you fucking need. <laughs> all right, all right. I'll look at a few clubs if it makes you happy. I, 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 I hope This it, one's big and made out of wood. I can't wait to like look this up and have it mean like, uh, like, neat. An offensive slur for an Italian. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking neat! <laughs> You'll never get into college! Neat. A young person who is no longer in the education system and who is not working or being trained for work. Oh. So me, between the ages of 22 and 35. Wait, isn't it an acronym? Oh, I don't know. Not, not educated, especially... Today. Today. <laughs> <laughs> But I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought, you know. Smack. <laughs> Slap. No, what? Well, that you could come to my club. What? Is it the lame girl club? <laughs> Tiny hand club? It is! <laughs> <laughs> Join it, won't you? There's no way I'm going to your club. Eh, uh, meanie. Go into my tiny house with the tiny roof. <laughs> <laughs> Sayori, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. Everyone! Everyone? <laughs> the new member is here! 
I told you, don't call me a new member. Eh? I glance around the room. Welcome to the Literature Club. <laughs> it's a pleasure meeting you. Sayori always says nice things about you. <laughs> that, that has to be you. Oh. I can't do- I'll never keep you on this Seriously, you're yeah. by the boy! Way to kill the atmosphere! <laughs> ah! <laughs> friend Aaron! What a nice surprise! <laughs> Welcome to the club! It's great to see- I'm not gonna be able to keep this voice up. I need to come up with a new voice, okay. but I'll do it next time on Game Grubs. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, I guess we'll, we're fucking doing when this. When we'll really get in the thick of it. Yeah. Oh, have we- have we merely scratched the surface oh, of the yeah, intricate we, social we web? We haven't even gotten to the- the good shit yet. Oh my god. It's great to see you again, friend Aaron. That's what it, Monica's definitely gonna be. That's what I was- that's the what alien I was robot. That. Okay, yeah. excellent. Today, the part of Monica will be played by Aaron because he can do the I am friend Aaron voice better. <laughs> it's great to see you again, friend Aaron. <laughs> Monica smiles sweetly. It's all- it looks like they're almost the same person drawn from that angle. <laughs> yeah. Wow. <laughs> We do know each other. Well, we rarely talked, but we were in the same class last year. She would say things like, Processing. <laughs> <laughs> I like to imagine that, like, her hair just stays like that all the time. I use a lot of gel! <laughs> <laughs> Much gel and motor oil was required. Okay, are you ready? <laughs> Where <Ta> am I? <laughs> Three, two, one, hide and seek! <laughs> wow! <laughs> Monica raises an eyebrow, then smiles at me. Or at least what the equivalent of smiling would be. <laughs> yeah, she definitely has the robot look to her, doesn't she? So, what made you consider the literature club? <laughs> My programming tells me that if I start a sentence with so, it seems more human. <laughs> <laughs> seems more human. <laughs> um... I was afraid of this question. <laughs> Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically dragged here by Sayori. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet, and Sayori seemed really happy here, so... <laughs> That's okay. Don't be embarrassed. We'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? <laughs> As president of the Literature Club, it is my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Monica, I'm surprised. The club is set up in <laughs> to make incredible logical sense. Mm. Mm. Oh, sorry, I thought you'd be talking long. <laughs> no, no problem. I was like, this is a perfect opportunity to take a sip of my soda. Oh, shit. No, you, you took the sip loudly, though, so it covers a lot. Okay, cool. Uh, everyone at home will be like, oh, he's sipping soda, yeah. as opposed to like, do they hate each That's other a now? Good, good narrative there. <laughs> totally. Not many people are very interested, not many humans <laughs> are very interested in pulling out all the effort to start something brand new. Especially when it is something that doesn't grab your attention, like literature. I read this last book in eight minutes. <laughs> you have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. I really read the book in eight seconds, <laughs> yeah. but I said minutes to make me seem more human. <laughs> <laughs> My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. Twilight, mostly. You ever read Clifford the Big Red Dog? <laughs> and telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. You ever, you ever read Clifford Goes to School? <laughs> that was a real foreign world for him. Yuri, Yuri goes on, completely passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But, you know, I like a lot of things. Like, Clifford makes a friend. <laughs> <laughs> Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? Just like in... <laughs> Clifford 2, The Revenge. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that one. Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Like... Clifford 3? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, I can't even go there. This is some intense plot. Yeah, well... Don't even get me started. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling it. You'll feel it pretty soon. What? What does that mean? Natsuki, you write your own poems? Cute shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? N no. Natsuki averts her eyes. 
You wouldn't like them when they're angry. <laughs> <laughs> ah, not a very confident writer yet. And she's like, no, I was just starting telling you my poem. Yeah, thank you. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. Oh. God, I wow. wish I was Clifford the Big Red Dog. <laughs> <laughs> you must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. For example, on the inside, you might be a giant dog. Yeah. Harden it with a big old dog heart. Maybe you're red. <laughs> I don't know, it was just off the top of my head. Now that we have a new member, I think it will help us all get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. Let me just crinkle my neck for a second. <laughs> Processing. <laughs> Processing pain. <laughs> Receiving pain. Ow. Cool. <laughs> In order to distract you from you thinking that I am a robot and not a human, <laughs> please write poetry. <laughs> I will not Google poetry <laughs> and bring in a printed out copy of someone else's work. I still have other clubs to look at and, um, I lose my train of thought. All four girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. Oh, that is super sad, actually. But, but, but. I'm sorry, I thought. We're all thinking! <laughs> <Help>! <laughs> y you all. Oh, I'm sorry. You all, I I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? I hate girls! <laughs> that is if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls. Right. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. Now rise! <laughs> Not fucking do it. Color. Color. Yay! Yay. See, or like yeah, that she's, one. she's the happy girl for sure. Bouncy. Oh, that's Natsuki. Shiny? That's probably Natsuki too. Promise. Yeah. Yakusoku! What? That means promise. No. In Japanese. Okay. okay. <laughs> Papa! <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Giggle! Papa! Oh. <laughs> I love it when you call me Big Papa! Thanks for keeping your promise, friend Aaron. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Making you drive- making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it. Jesus, what were we thinking? <laughs> Why don't we just push you off a cliff? <laughs> We've really forced you into the situation, huh? Yeah. Ah, oh, come on, like he deserves any slack! So you already told me you didn't even want to join any clubs this year. And last year too! You're such a clubless bitch! <laughs> I don't know if you plan to just come <laughs> Swiftly defeated, Natsuki pops back into her seat. I think she popped. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, guys. Saint Aaron always considers best as long as he's having fun. <laughs> I'm not having fun. He helps you with busy work without me even asking. Now let's- So you leave faster. <laughs> so let's help reinflate Natsuki! <laughs> <laughs> just goes sailing around the room. <laughs> like cooking, cleaning my room? I'm sure people get crappy gifts all the time. Oh my god. First of all, I wasn't <laughs> expecting anything in the first place, so any nice gesture from you is a pleasant surprise. I'm so embarrassed my red embarrassment lines are going over my bangs. <laughs> My eyes have completely vanished. I can't see. I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> It'll make me happy no matter what. Is that so? Yeah, I won't make it a big deal if you don't want it to be. Maybe. Unless it's gonorrhea. Maybe I'll stick my boobs out and my butt out. All right. Well, here. <laughs> Yuri reaches- oh. Yo, Yuri <laughs> reaches into her bag, pulls out a book. I didn't want you to feel left out. So I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's Clifford the Big Red <laughs> Episode four. <laughs> the Clifford, Clifford, Clifford in space. <laughs> it's a Cl short Clifford X. <laughs> <laughs> it's a short read, so it should keep your attention because you're stupid. Even if you don't usually read, you're stupid. And we could, you know, discuss it if you wanted. Th this is. We could tear out the pages and spread it out of your bed and fuck on it. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lone volume of manga, manga. Manga a stack of various <laughs> books on one side of the shelves. They look juicy and delicious. <laughs> Curious, I pull it out of the stack. There it is! Natsuki snatches it out of my hand. Don't touch my shit! She then turns to a box. Oh, I thought it said she turns into a box of manga. Help! <laughs> <laughs> I'm reducing! <laughs> 
that's where she goes every time she sings. Like Not another again! Part, another part of her has become a manga. <laughs> she then turns to a box. She turns to a box of manga <laughs> and slips the volume right into the middle of the rest. Ah, much better. <laughs> Get a closer look at the box set she's admiring. Parfait, girls. It's a series I've never heard of in my life. That probably means it's either way out of my demographic or it's simply terrible. If you're gonna judge, you can go do it to the glass on that door! She points to the classroom door. It's not made of glass. You wanna do it? In the glass in the door behind the <laughs> Put them on the glass? Huh? Hey, I wasn't judging anything. I didn't even say anything. It was the tone of your voice. I didn't say anything. <laughs> but I'll tell you one thing, friend. Sit in your silence. <laughs> Consider that's a lesson shaped in the literature club. Don't judge a book by its cover. Like, at first I thought you were an asshole, but now I just think you're an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Which informs your asshole this. In fact, Natsuki pulls out the first volume of Parfait Girls from the box. I'm going to show you exactly why. She shoves the book right into my hands. Uh, what the fuck is this thing? <laughs> I stare at the cover. It says parfait girls. This computer's broken. <laughs> it features <laughs> why are the made words of paper. changing? <laughs> I can't scroll! Yeah. <laughs> it features four girls in colorful attire striking animated feminine poses. It's exceedingly mo. I wish there were animated feminine poses in this game. <laughs> yeah. Jeez. I, I, just I, torturing us. I wish it just said it's exceedingly mo. Yeah. <laughs> like Moses, like oh yeah, or the band. There's a band called Mo. Yeah, with the dot at the end of it, M O E. Mm. You remember that? No. All right, well let's go with the the guy with the bowl cut from Three Stooges then. <laughs> <laughs> let's go with that Mo. Excuse me. I open the book. It's only a few seconds before Natsuki once again inches closer, reclaiming the additional space while she hopes I won't notice. I can feel her peering over my shoulder, much more eager to begin reading than I am. She takes a bite of my neck. <laughs> I bleed profusely. <laughs> but only from the one spot where her green tooth enters my, <laughs> my jugular. It turns out her mouth is like a Komodo dragon, <laughs> filled with harmful bacteria. <laughs> That's why the tooth is green, and there's only one. <laughs> wow, how long has it been since they're at the beginning? Everything's blurry. Here I am at the hospital. <laughs> like the exact same classroom setup. <laughs> Just imagine. <laughs> Wait, did did the did the poetry? Well, first of all, it's time for next time on Game Rose. Secondly, did the poem we wrote have any effect on how this is playing out? I guess you'll find out. Oh my god, oh my god. Next time on Game Rose. We didn't even see the girl that we impressed the most. <laughs> she fucking... You'll see, you'll see, you'll okay, see. Okay, okay. I just want you to know, uh... I wasn't checking my phone. I was looking up a list of Clifford the Big Red Dog books so I can reference them. I didn't <laughs> even easy. notice. So. Perfect, perfect. We read on for a few minutes. I've finished a couple chapters at this point. Uh... <laughs> Are you sure this isn't boring for you? No, of course not. Look at what my eyebrows are doing above my hair. <laughs> <laughs> Don't pay no attention to my goat eyes. Yeah, oh man, so cute. Even though you're just watching me read? Well, I'm fine with that. If you say so. No, what's really difficult is breathing through this one tiny nostril. <laughs> <laughs> I have nose asthma. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah. like snorting through a coffee straw. <laughs> I guess it's fun sharing something you like with someone else. I always get excited when I convince any of my friends to pick up a series I enjoy. You know what I mean? No! no. <laughs> Don't you share your manga with your friends? Could you not rub it in? Could you also not rub in how part, like the front part of my hair is in one direction and the next back part of my hair looks like it was on a completely different head tilted <laughs> to a different direction? She has like four different hairstyles it's going really on. It's really crazy when yeah. you look at it. Jeez. It's like Cthulhu. <laughs> <laughs> like I could never get my friends to read this. They just think manga is for kids. <laughs> I can't even bring it up with them without being all like, this is for kids. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Makes me want to punch him in the face. And I do sometimes. But they're just kids. And so am I. <laughs> You have been talking to an 11 year old this whole time! Uh, I know these kinds of people. Honestly, it takes a lot of effort to find friends who don't judge, much less friends who are also into it. Are you also an attorney? All my friends are judges too! I'm already kind of a loser, so I guess I gravitated towards the other losers over time. You sure know how to turn a girl on. <laughs> eh. Ah. Natsuki suddenly notices how close she's gotten to me. Uh, I mean, just imagine it. Also, we're still sitting over by the window. Yeah. She hastily <laughs> slides herself a good 12 inches away from me. <laughs> not far yeah. enough. <laughs> I was just gonna say that. That's not gonna help you. You better get 27 inches away, baby. <laughs> All right. Guess I'll stop here for now. Guess I'll just unspool this two-foot <laughs> cock. <laughs> I can't believe I agreed to do something so embarrassing. I couldn't really find much inspiration since I've never really done this before. Well, now that everyone's ready, why don't you find someone to share with? I can't wait! <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> Sayori and Monica enthusiastically pull out their poems. Sayori's is on a wrinkled sheet of loose leaf torn from a spiral notebook. On the other hand, Monica wrote hers in a composition notebook. I <laughs> in, per in perfect binary. <laughs> <laughs> I can already see Monica's pristine hand. It's it's as thick as a dictionary. <laughs> I can already see Monica's pristine handwriting from where I sit. It's almost as if it was printed. <laughs> Natsuki and Yuri. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking dot matrix has. <laughs> <laughs> Natsuki and Yuri reluctantly comply as well, reaching into their bags. I do the same myself. We all do it. It's like I said before, friend Aaron. Deep down, you're not selfish at all, you know? Trying to do things like this for other people with nothing to gain from it other than sex with four <laughs> hot girls. So selfless. <laughs> That's something that only really good people do. Thanks, Sayori. I'm not sure if Sayori sees the full picture of my motive here. I just want the cupcakes. Yeah. Then again, I can't <laughs> deny that she's part of the reason I joined. I here for the muff. <laughs> <laughs> All right, girls. <laughs> Strut your stuff. <laughs> you will be swimming in muff. <laughs> this puss will be overflowing. Dear, Dear sunshine, <laughs> the way you glow through my blinds in the morning, it makes me feel like you missed me. Kissing my forehead to help me out of bed, making me rub the sleepy from my eyes. Are you asking me to come out and play? Are you trusting me with a wish for a rainy day? I look above. The sky is blue. It's a secret that I trust you too. If it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever. But I'm not mad. I want breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> oh my fucking god. I made eggs and toast. Even though you were late to school. It's bad to skip breakfast. <laughs> Which is weird because I kind of look like I'm stuffing my face all the time in this pose. <laughs> Pretzels. <laughs> Cupcakes. <laughs> Cupcakes. <laughs> Reese's Pieces. Yeah. What was it you were yelling when we were recording the Star Bob song? Like, you're always after my Reese's oh, Pieces. Fuck, fuck you, Jim. <laughs> fuck you. Get out of my store. Get <laughs> the fuck out of my store, Jim. Always stealing my Reese's Pieces. <laughs> Buying up all my Starburst! Oh man! That's my best selling product! I love that character. <laughs> Starburst is the hardest to restock! He was Gotta call up the company directly! He was yelling that at our producer, Jim Roach, who was dying. <laughs> Fuck you, Jim! <laughs> my Reese's Pieces. <laughs> this is so much fun! Yeah, sure. Mike is the best. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just say a word about Monica? Yeah. Your, like, head's completely 180. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <It's> <laughs> like... <laughs> you, it, like, is the Terminator, like, red grid of, like, her her point of view, like, what she, what she should do, and, like, A through C is kill, and D <laughs> is say hello. <laughs> Say hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Click that button, baby. Mm.
So much going on in this game. <laughs> <laughs> so we just discovered uh -huh. that uh, the piano and the flute or whatever in the background, they're they're like out of, they, they like suck at playing it. It's just what, it's just one part. It, it, it's gonna take a minute to loop around, but like, okay, so that one's good. The the, the next, it's on the, da -da 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 -da. the, the this one's good too. Yep, no. very good. And it's like, all right, Timmy, you did great at the recital. It's just one more, one more round to bring it home. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> what were they thinking? Oh man. Uh, well, I, I kind of love it. It kind of adds to the charm. All right, so who do you think? It's I only a ten-second loop. Which, yeah. They, I mean, they could have re-recorded it. Uh, hole in wall. <laughs> it couldn't have been me. See the direction the spackle protrudes. A noisy neighbor. <laughs> An angry boyfriend. <laughs> I'll never know. I wasn't home. I peer inside for a clue. No, I can't see. I reel, blind, like a film left out in the sun. But it's too late. My retinas. My human retinas. <laughs> already scorched with a permanent copy of the meaningless image. It's just a little hole. It wasn't too bright. It was too deep. Stretching forever into everything. A hole of infinite choices. I realize now that I wasn't looking in. I was looking out. And he on the other side was looking in. And I was looking out. But he was <laughs> looking in at me looking out. Do you like the poem I Google? I mean... I am trapped in a logic loop. <laughs> so what do you think? Well, I, she was supposed to be the good one, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Divide by zero. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Another way to think about it is this. If you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, your ink will run. Oh, that's what she said. Hmm. Just, so just move your hand and go with the flow. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. <laughs> Shutting down. <laughs> <laughs> Natsuki must really hate me or something. I can't figure out if it's a win or a loss that she liked my poem. In any case, you still need to show me yours, right? Girl, for the guess. Only because Monica will make me do my job. I am always watching. <laughs> Eagles can fly. Monkeys can climb. Crickets can leap. Oh my god. Horses can race. Owls can sink. Cheetahs can <laughs> run. <laughs> 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 Eagles can fly. What do you think? What do you think? <laughs> People can try. But that's about it. Oh, it's good. <laughs> What <laughs> the fucking music? <laughs> yeah! It, it did the catching froggy music for a second. <laughs> <laughs> I told you that you weren't gonna like it. I I like it. What? Just just be honest. I, I am. Uh, well, I do have a couple suggestions, and you'll hear them next time on Game Grumps. Hemp, I don't want to hear none of your suggestions. I just want to fold my arms and, and put two fingers out and scratch the side of my arm <laughs> in a continuous, never-ending manner. I actually have some kind of... It's kind of like... I think I had a stroke. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna sit down by this window and closet in the corner, but it's not gonna show it until five minutes from now, so... <laughs> I'm trying to give a peace sign, but someone broke my fingers. <laughs> ow, 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 my fingers. Mm. By the way, uh, we were only planning to do seven episodes of this, and then Ross was like, no, keep playing. Something's gonna happen. And we were like, oh, all right. He was like, do, did, did you get to the part yet? And we were like, we don't know what you're talking about. And he's like, then keep playing. I know what he's talking about. Do you really? I don't yeah. fucking know. God damn it. That's why I wanted you to play this game. Oh shit. All right. Well, all right. So so be it. Let's keep rolling. Nuts. Natsuki. I hope you're sitting down. I can't tell. You always look the same. Hey, you're right that I liked your poem. See? Wait. That's not an excuse for you to be so mean. You shouldn't pick a fight just because someone's opinion is different. That's not what happened at all. You wouldn't even <laughs> take a poem seriously. Mmm. <laughs> These potatoes are good. <laughs> Sorry, I've been eating potatoes this entire time. Filling up on potatoes. <laughs> and not, they're not even french fries or baked or chips or anything. I'm just, just raw potatoes and I'm eating them one after the other. <laughs> Unpeeled. <laughs> like his backpack falls over and just... <laughs> 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 potatoes. 
Oh no! <laughs> Looks like I've dropped my potatoes on the floor. Yeah, looks like I can't continue this conversation until this potato situation is resolved. How embarrassing. But here's the thing. No matter how simple or refined someone's writing style is, they're still putting feelings into it and it becomes something really personal. That's why Natsuki felt threatened when you said her poem was cute. I... see. I didn't... oh. I didn't notice that I... I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but Natsuki... Bye! <laughs> you took it way too far! You're me as well! And if you just told me how you felt, <laughs> then this would have happened in the first place! You're standing between me and eating more potatoes! <laughs> Are you kidding? That's exactly what I did. It was her that... Natsuki, I think that's enough. Time to let friend Aaron enjoy his potatoes in <laughs> peace. You both said some things that you did not mean. Yuri apologized. Don't you think you should too? N, N, N! For no! <laughs> Sometimes when I'm hurt, it helps to take a walk and clear my head. Sayori, she it doesn't need to. You know what? That. I'm spamming from having to look at your faces right now, fucking idiots, and I'm taking a potato. No. <laughs> Without warning, not to. I perfectly rationed out my potatoes <laughs> so I could continuously eat them in a nonstop manner until I get home. Whereupon I'll find my emergency stash of home potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> Without warning, Natsuki snatches her own poem from the desk and storms out. On her way out, she crumples up the poem with her hands and throws it in the trash. No, my trash potatoes! <laughs> <laughs> you covered them in ink and paper! <laughs> Natsuki! It's just about time for us to leave. How did you all feel about sharing poems? Those of you that are not heartbroken and crying yeah. at home right now. <laughs> it's a lot of fun! Well, I'd say it was worth it. It was all right. Well, mostly. <laughs> Friend Aaron, how about you? Yeah, I'd say the same. It was a neat thing to talk about with everyone. Awesome. In that case, we'll do the same thing tomorrow. <laughs> and maybe you learned something from your friends, too. So your poems will turn... Battery low. <laughs> Battery low. <laughs> out even better. <laughs> Sayori, about what happened earlier. Is it a double or triple negative? You know, between Yuri and Natsuki, does that kind of thing happen often? I can't want to not know if you don't like me. <laughs> not? No, no, no! That's a triple negative! <laughs> That's really the first time I've seen them fight like that. God, you get one hot slice of dick between two girls and they can't help themselves. Man, you really bring out the worst in them, huh? <laughs> I promise they're both wonderful people. When they're not being enticed by your huge throbbing cock, you don't, you don't hate them, do you? No, I don't hate them. I just dislike them a lot. <laughs> it looks like Sayori still hasn't caught on to the kind of situation I'm in. Sure, being friends with everyone is nice, but does it really need to stop there? Uh, well, I'll just have to see what the future holds, sir. <laughs> I pat Sayori on the shoulder. Her arm falls off. I go, whoa! <laughs> <laughs> she screams. <laughs> I said that more to myself than to her, but it's easy to use Sayori as an internal monologue sometimes, you know? Okay! <laughs> yeah, let's do this. Sayori nervously retrieves her coin purse. We should nervously retrieve my coin purse. She fumbles understand? with the latch and gets it open. She then she turns life. it upside down and lets its contents spill onto the desk. Oh, so hot. Only two small coins fall out. <laughs> I knew it! I could see right through you, Sayori! That's not fair! How'd you even know? It's simple. If you had enough money in the first place, you would have bought a snack before coming to the classroom. So either you're not hungry and want an excuse to take a walk, or you plan to conveniently forget that you spent all your money so that I would lend you some. You fucking asshole. But there's one more thing! <laughs> you're always hungry! <laughs> and so that only leaves the one option! Uh, I give up. Don't make me feel guilty. If you feel guilty, then that means you deserve to feel guilty. Ha ha ha. This got real. <laughs> <laughs> Natsuki glances around. Monica isn't in the club room. Ugh. Where's Monica anyway? Good question. Have any of you heard anything about her being late today? Not, not me. <laughs> I'm back. Yeah, I haven't either. Hmm. That's a bit unusual. I hope she's okay. <laughs> 
Of course she's okay. She probably <laughs> just had some dinner. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't think she she has a. Ha ha ha! I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> An upgrade appointment? <laughs> yeah! Of course, she's fucking- <laughs> <laughs> She's probably more desirable than all of us combined. <laughs> that's true. Excuse me?! What held you up anyway? Ah, uh, my boyfriend. <laughs> well, my last period today was study hall. Sorry to hear that. To be honest, I kind- <laughs> <laughs> To be honest, I kind of just lost track of time. Ah ha 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 ha. That makes no sense though! You would've heard the bell ring at least! I must not have heard it since I was practicing piano. My, my ears were full with boyfriend dick. <laughs> <laughs> my, my human ears were not turned on. I mean, piano. Listening. Yuri takes her left arm and holds the left side of the book between her thumb and forefinger. Uh, I do the same with my right <laughs> arm on the right side of the book. Oh that God. way, I turn a page and Yuri slides it under her thumb after it flips to her side. Third base. <laughs> but in holding it like this, we're all huddled even closer than before. It's actually kind of distracting me. Ah! <laughs> it's as if I can feel the warmth of your face just in the corner of my vision. Are you ready? <laughs> ah! To turn the page? God, sorry! On this relationship? I think I got a bit distracted for a second. I glance over at your face again, and our eyes meet. I don't know how I'll be able to keep up with her. Uh, that's okay. You're not as used to reading, right? I don't mind being patient if it takes you a bit longer. It's probably the least I could do. Since you've been so patient with me. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> we continue reading. <laughs> <laughs> You're in a long grass if I'm ready to turn the page. Instead, I just assumed that she finished the page before me, so I started my own volition. We can turn the first page for pets. Then, then turning each page almost feels like an intimate exchange. My thumb gently let it go of the page, letting it flutter over to her side. She catches it on her home thumb. Hey, Yuri, this might be a silly thought, but the main character kind of reminds me of you a little bit. You, you think so? How does she? Well, I guess she's more blunt in a lot of ways, but she also second guesses all the things that she says it does. Like she's afraid she'll do something wrong. It's not like I can see it in your head or anything, but they're kind of representative <laughs> of your mannerisms. I see. <sighs> Meanwhile, back over here, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck, man. All right. I stand up. I make a mental note of where I left off of the book. Slip it back into my bag. Eat a potato or two. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember how many. Oh my god. All right. Show your poem to Yuri first. We're on a roll with her. Okay. The moon increments its phase and reflects that as much more light. God damn it. Reflects that much more light off my cutting knife. Oh god, I'm so hot. The very same light that glistens in the eyes of my raccoon friend. I slice the bread. Fresh and soft. The raccoon becomes excited. Or perhaps I'm merely projecting my emotions onto the newly satisfied animal. Oh, newly satisfied animal. All right, stop. <laughs> Amy like Jesus. J Amy like spiders. Amy like spiders. You know what I heard about Amy? Amy like spiders. <laughs> Icky, wriggly, hairy, ugly spiders. That's why I'm not friends with her anymore. Oh my god. Amy had a kid singing voice. I heard her singing my favorite love song. Fuck Amy. <laughs> Every time she sang the chorus, my heart would pound. I hope she dies from spider bites. <laughs> I give my poem to Monica. All right. Great job, friend Aaron. I was going ooh in my head while reading it. I was using my human brain to process the emotions. It's really metaphorical. I'm not sure why, but I didn't expect you to go for something so deep. I guess I underestimated you. It's easy for me to keep everyone's expectations low. <laughs> that way it always counts when I put in some effort. <laughs> Do you enjoy my new <laughs> Do you enjoy my new laugh program? Do you think it is convincing to fool the humans? <laughs> it's the like the predator laugh from the end of uh Predator. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it explodes. That's not very fair. Well, I guess it worked anyway. God. <laughs> anyway, Monica, thanks for reading my poem. Yeah. It can take years of practice, which I'm assuming Yuri has at this point. I'm running Boredom Protocol 7. <laughs> you appear to be bored. You appear to be bored. You appear to be bored. <laughs> abort, abort conversation. <laughs> I've never really asked, though. I'm sure I'm nowhere near her level yet. Don't worry so much about that. You do your own thing. Meanwhile, I will be sucking the brain juices out of you while you sleep. <laughs> I mean... Running the literature club. <laughs> <laughs> Just keep exploring and learn by trying new things. Noise. The noise. It won't stop. Violent grating waveforms. 
squeaking, screeching, piercing, sine, cosine, tangent. What a what kind of cue is that? It's like the <laughs> the fem, the symbol for female. <laughs> It's like an onk. <laughs> <laughs> like playing a chalkboard on a turntable. Like playing a final on a pizza crust. An endless poem of meaningless. Load me. Whoa. <laughs> what? Ooh, I think she's actually a robot, dude. <laughs> that would be fucking awesome. Oh my god, could you imagine? <laughs> hmm. Does it look like a robot wrote it? <laughs> it's even more abstract than your last one, huh? Hot, 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 hot. We are going to be poor for arming. Perfect. Conolingus. <laughs> per uh, Monica. Yeah, we're going to be having a poetry poor form, dance. Each of us are going to choose a poem to recite during the event. But the cool part is, we're also going to let anyone else come up and recite poems too. <laughs> Sayori's putting all. I uh, Sayori shutting down. <laughs> <laughs> Rebooting. <laughs> you just talk to her too long, and her ability to speak just starts to like decay slowly. Sayori's putting it all on the posters in case anyone wants to prepare ahead of time. <laughs> Sayori, who's been coloring a poster, holds it up for us to see. Wow, what a beautiful invisible poster! I love it. Are you kidding me, Monica? You didn't, you did not really start putting these posters up, did you? Yet, yeah, well, I did. Do you really think it's that bad of an idea? Well, no. It's not a bad idea. It's, it's a, a horrible idea! <laughs> 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 but I didn't sign up for this, you know? There's no way I'm gonna be performing in front of a group of people like that! I still think we should give it our best. We're the only ones responsible for the fate of this club. If we start the event and each put on a good performance, powering down, then it will inspire <laughs> others to overheating. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Core temperature nominal. <laughs> Do the same. <laughs> and the more people who perform, the better we'll be able to show everyone what literature is all about. Yeah! It's about expressing your feelings, being intimate with yourself, finding new horizons, and having fun! That's right. And it's those reasons that we're all in this club today. Aside from the fact that your brains are soft, gooey, and delicious. <laughs> Don't you want to share that with others? <laughs> Natsuki and Yuri remain silent. Siri looks worried. I guess that leaves me no choice. I'm going to have to dig them out of this <laughs> knee-deep pool of potatoes we're all standing in. <laughs> Guys, watch out! The potatoes are <laughs> they're filling the room slowly! <laughs> I don't know how it happened, but my knapsack just keeps producing potatoes! <laughs> Have you not noticed? It's a real House of Leaves situation! Oh god! More I... potatoes than could possibly have fit in the knapsack! <laughs> <laughs> my chest can no longer expand due to the pressure and weight of all these potatoes! <laughs> I mean, I agree! <laughs> Sayuri, Sayuri hops out of her chair and cheerfully walks to the podium. This one's called My Meadow. Not your meadow! <laughs> my neck, my meadow, my pussy <laughs> and my meadow. Uh, anyway. <laughs> Sayori begins, I mean, Sayori begins her poem. It sucks. So, somehow it feels like her soft voice was made as a perfect match. Lighting a powder keg of shitty poetry. <laughs> 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 the poem is an aimlessly cheery like Sayori is. It's serene and bittersweet. If I were to read this on paper, I probably wouldn't think much of it. But hearing it come from Sayori's voice almost, almost gives it a whole new meaning. I stand up and step in front of the podium. Everyone has their eyes on me, making me feel terribly Oh, this would awkward. be a hard point to start masturbating. <laughs> I recite my poem. Especially since two of them are looking like sort of disapprovingly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Come on, hairbow girl and robot woman are into it. <laughs> Since I'm not exactly confident in my own writing, it's hard to put the energy into it. Sorry, I was just punching my fist. <laughs> Despite that, once I finish, I receive applause anyway. Sorry, I'm not really. <laughs> so so Thank you. <laughs> 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 
Sorry, I'm not really as good as everyone else. <laughs> I walk home with Sayori once more. Even though it's only been a few days, a lot of things have already changed. But today, Sayori's being a little quieter than usual on the way home. Hey, Sayori. Uh, sorry. sorry, I was spacing out. Uh, no I'm wonder. still spacing out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in space! <laughs> um, uh, uh, oh, that's it. Oh, whoa. Yeah. Oh, okay. Wow, that's if you want the Zork text adventure <laughs> yeah. version of this game. Oops. Oh, climax. <clears throat> Tears. Sayori likes that one. Unrestrained. Sparkle. Ooh, sparkle's nice. Heaven sent. Jesus. Is that even a word? Chocolate. No poof! Oh, damn it! Damn it, I'm sorry. Milk! <laughs> to make up for the poof. <laughs> Email. <laughs> Dance. Email. Dance. Uh, Variants. You got it. Marshmallow. <laughs> Suicide. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> Bouncy. Oh, I can't wait for the festival. It's gonna be great. It. Weren't you complaining about it yesterday, Natsuki? Well, yeah. I'm not talking about our part of the festival, but it's a whole day of school and we get to play and eat all kinds of delicious food. Sound a bit like Sayori all of a sudden. Monica, do they usually have fried squid? Oh, uh, I'm getting my voice <laughs> confused here. <Yeah. laughs> wait, wait a second. <laughs> Squid. Nat Natsuki. <laughs> I am. My incredible intellect is <laughs> capable of handling both sides of this conversation. <laughs> I worriedly glance at Sayori before turning back toward everyone else. But the conversation is already dispersed with everyone back at their usual activities. Maybe I should ask Monica if she's noticed anything about Sayori recently. Ooh. Since they've been preparing for the festival, they must be spending a lot of time together. I timidly approach Monica, who is shuffling through some papers at her desk. I wasn't studying humans! <laughs> Friend Aaron, what's up? Like you say. Seemed like she wanted to be left alone. Are you sure? Maybe she just has a hard time bringing it up with the person of interest. Person of interest? What do you mean by that? I'm saying that maybe the thing on her mind is you, Friend Aaron. <gasps> Me? How on earth would you come to that conclusion? Well, I probably shouldn't say too much, but Sayori talks about you more than anything else, you know. Uh She's been so much happier every time you ever since you joined the club. It's like an extra light was turned on inside of her. Cooking her brains to a delicious <laughs> simmering boil. Mm, you can smell it from here. <laughs> what? No way. I'll try to talk to her, so try not to think about it for now. Uh alright. Monica smiles meaningful. Uh, Monica smiles meaningful. I know she said to forget about it, but I already know that I won't be able to get her words out of my head. Monica stands up from her desk and walks and across, packs the across the room. <laughs> Wee! <laughs> Sayori. <laughs> my uh, Natsuki fiddles with the book she's holding in her hands. She, she really means a lot to you, doesn't she? Uh, that bitch. <laughs> don't get the wrong idea or anything. We've just been friends for a long time. It's normal to be worried about your friends. All the time and you've been committed <laughs> yeah, relationship. My vagina is <laughs> touched your penis. <laughs> Wait, hold on. I said yeah. that wrong. Yeah. Wait, hold on. The robot's like, have I had it wrong this whole time? <laughs> <laughs> it is her brains that I am looking forward to. <laughs> Can you blame me for being paranoid? I don't give people my manga every day, you know. And you're always eating potatoes. And you have potatoes in your sack. So I thought potatoes would just be crushing it all day. Wait a minute, this is my manga at all. This is <laughs> potato. <laughs> you just wrote the title of the manga <laughs> on the potato. <laughs> you sneaky <laughs> son of a bitch. What the hell's going on? <laughs> <laughs> she looks around, Monica's a potato. <laughs> <laughs> oh my fucking god. Next time on Game next Grumps. Next time on Game Grumps. Oh, we'll see you then, babies. Let's find out what happens next. This is fun. Jeez! <laughs> this is so inconvenient! I'm moving all these back down! There's plenty of room on these shelves. And besides, they're really pretty to look at when they're all lined up. Why would you waste that on the top shelf? Ah, uh, Natsuki, th there's a stool on the wall there. <laughs> That's really immature. Let's clean it up! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, All stool is collapsible. <laughs> in the closet, there's a collapsible stool. It's like, I like how I was giggling at the word stool, and you were like, come on, man. <laughs> I, just, I already knew what was happening. <laughs> if you want, I can reach up there and hand them to you. 
I can get them myself! Natsuki grabs the stool from the wall and unfolds it. it must have been a long one. <laughs> It's great how it's all still staying in one log. <laughs> it's hanging from the ceiling. <laughs> what are you looking at? The box! Uh, <laughs> you're trying to look at my <laughs> box! Natsuki's like shake! I'm not, I was just Natsuki, I'm trying to move! Just give me the box! <laughs> you, you perf! You set me up! Go away! Get out! But I do it myself! <laughs> ah! The chair suddenly swells between Natsuki's feet! Natsuki! running at Tsuki's feet! Frantically, I try to catch her! The box jumps out of her hands and the books go flying! I got you! Oh my god. The full force of Natsuki's body against me throws me to the ground. Everything whole, goes dark. A whole bunch of books pelt me in the face. End of day two. <laughs> <laughs> uh, slowly, Natsuki comes to her senses. Gah. She presses her arm straight into me to prop herself up. Natsuki seems to realize that it's not the floor that's beneath her, but a, but a huge flat surface of hard dick. <laughs> <laughs> gross, gross! <laughs> oh no, my my. Uh, I look down. Natsuki's kneeling on the floor, holding one of the books that are scattered all over. There's a large diagonal crease across the pages. He's desperately trying to smooth out. <gasps> oh, it must have landed on the page. <laughs> Natsuki. <laughs> <laughs> what a predicament! <laughs> no! <laughs> Natsuki tries a bit more to fix the crease, but she can't get it out. Suddenly she gives up and slams the book shut, then throws it on the floor. Instead of continuing to yell, she just lowers her head. <laughs> Natsuki, are you- No! Are you having first world problems? <laughs> <laughs> Natsuki's voice squeaks. This is her absolute limit. <laughs> I see tears on her face. Ah, uh, I'll help get the crease out, okay? It's partially my fault, so... She is razor thin on the line, separating from her from the psych ward. <laughs> <laughs> Natsuki shakes her head, still looking down. No, not like this. I don't even <laughs> care that much. I'm just having a really bad day today. Natsuki sobs again. I didn't mean to take it out on you. I really didn't mean to. I it's fine. Is there anything you want me- you want to talk about? Natsuki shakes her- Natsuki shakes her head. <laughs> just every day is so hard. I just want to come to the club and get swifty. <laughs> <laughs> get low, get low! <laughs> Natsuki falls silent again. I can't press her so I can only- I can only do what I, I know how to do. All right. Well, I guess I'll leave. Depressor. <laughs> Just eat potatoes. <laughs> Man, these potatoes are calming me down. <laughs> well, I'll help clean this up, and I'll move the rest of your manga for you. Ah, I pick up volume two of Parfat Girls. <laughs> we'll set this one aside. This will help cheer you up a bit, right? <laughs> Starts ripping it. <laughs> That'll fucking cheer you up, huh? <laughs> we can get started on it once I'm done here. Natsuki looks up with her glossy eyes. Her lip quivers. You're... You're really nice to me. Uh, that sounds really strange coming from Natsuki. I didn't expect it at all. Well... I'm just treating you like a friend, you know? <laughs> friend Aaron. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Potato? <laughs> Natsuki lowers her head and stifles another sob. I, s I slowly insert a potato into her mouth <laughs> to quiet her. <laughs> this potato has healing properties. I'm not sure what happened to her today, <laughs> oh but being God. nice is the least I can do. The next couple of minutes are silent between us as I begin gathering the scattered books. <sighs> She's real quiet with that giant ass <laughs> potato wedged in her mouth. <laughs> She's super enjoying it though. <laughs> Alright, that should do it. I hop off the stool. Natsuki averts her gaze. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks! <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Welcome back to fucking this game. Yep. I know all y'all are fucking sitting there like, 
when when's the when's the good shit gonna happen? I mean, I it's been happening. It's getting close. Okay. It's getting real close. I don't, all right. Oh all right. fuck. Okay. okay. Here we go. Just need to stretch my rib cage. Yeah. You're trying to impress me. Natsuki vigorously scans her eyes over my poem one more time. Then the poem slips out of her hands and flutters to the floor. I, I have to use the bathroom! <laughs> A puddle of yellow liquid <laughs> rolls down her thighs. <laughs> <laughs> that poem was so bad I shit myself! <laughs> <laughs> Uh. <laughs> what? Why are you looking at me like that? Like what? Like you want to suck my brains out? <laughs> Kanye Vest is now playing Kingdoms and Castles. <laughs> oh my God! His symbol was a vest. <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you who that is later. Okay, awesome. <laughs> I'll be the bitch that watches your worries away. I'll be the bitch that you did your body say. I'll be the bitch that makes your heart leap in a way you thought you had left you long ago. <laughs> Let's bury your heavy thoughts in a pile of sand Bathe in sunbeams and hold my hand Wash your insecurities in the salty sea And let me see you shine <laughs> Let's leave your memories in a footprint <laughs> trail Set you free in my windy sail And remember the reasons you're wonderful When you press your lips to mine <laughs> I'm in the beach that washes your words away I'm in the beach that you take your bed every day <laughs> I'm in the beast that makes your heart leap And when you thought you loved you long ago <laughs> But if you let me by your side Your own beach, your own escape You'll learn to love yourself again <laughs> Wow <laughs> Yeah, I wrote that <laughs> <laughs> you're just reading this in your head and you just hear that, you're like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna worry about that. <laughs> I stand where the foam wraps around my ankles. <laughs> <laughs> Where my toes squish into the sand. The salty air is therapeutic. The breeze is gentle, yet powerful. <laughs> they told me to write about the beach, but I really wrote about something else. <laughs> Well, of course I am. Are you getting jiggy in this club? <laughs> Good. Is it getting turnt in here or is it just me? <laughs> <laughs> it's all that matters to me. Yuri's expression suddenly changes. She stares at her desk and focuses and starts nodding to herself. I love atmosphere. Definitely love atmosphere. Your, your mind is already racing, I see. That is great. You'll be a wonderful help, Yuri. And you will be distracted <laughs> while I, um, do human <laughs> things. <laughs> With this straw. <laughs> Close to your head. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, that just leaves you, friend Aaron. The one who is truly useless. Oh, the one is truly useless. Welcome back to Game Grubs. <laughs> Welcome back to Game Grubs. We're playing this game, it's fucking Doki Doki Literature Club. Ooh, baby. It's really, uh, it's, it's... It's something else. Much like Monica does to these victims eventually. Uh, really sucking my brains out of my head. <laughs> uh, it's you. But I'm loving it. I can't believe this! Yuri's gonna be coming to my house on Sunday? Even though I would have preferred to do this with Sayori, my anxiety still shoots through the roof. I guess I've gotten pretty used to handling her at this point, but who knows what might end up happening when we're outside of school. She even told me she was looking forward to it. I shake my head. Why do I feel nervous that Sayori finds out about this? It's not like we feel that way about each other. Besides, like Monica said, this is about the club. I have nothing to worry about. If I just go with it, then I'll have a good time. By the way, the club is what I call my dick. 
It's this all is... about the club. <laughs> it's already Sunday. Oh, God, where did the time go? <laughs> I've been standing here this whole time. <laughs> I guess that's what Sayori says when she's spacing out. <laughs> you haven't come over like this in a long time, have you? 58, 59, 60. You haven't come over like this in a long time. Ah, I guess you're right. It has been a long time. Sorry, I just find out like this. I'm dating Mr. Cow. <laughs> Moo. <laughs> you bitch! <laughs> How could you? <laughs> Not much has really changed, has it? Sayori's room is as messy as it's always been. I also recognize the same stuffed animals and wall decorations that she's had for years now. Hey, 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 hey. You really put me in a trap, friend Aaron. But you're wrong. Nothing happened to me. I've always been like this. Dumb and weird. <laughs> you're just seeing it for the first time. Seeing what? What are you talking about, Sayori? <laughs> you're really just going to make me say it, aren't you, friend Aaron? Guess I have no choice this time. The thing is... I've had a really bad depression my whole life. Oh, damn. I thought she'd say, <laughs> I'd love you. <laughs> Did you know that? Why do you think I'm late to school every day? Because most days I can't even find a reason to get out of bed other than Mr. Cow. <laughs> what reason is there to do anything when I fully know how worthless I am? <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Why go to school? Why eat? Why make friends? Why make other people put their energy- oh, Jesus Christ, this is so sad all of a sudden. <laughs> and carried away waste by having them spend it on me. That's what it feels like. And that's why I just want to make everyone happy. Without anyone worrying about me. Fred. Fred, <laughs> I'm in shock. I can't even figure out how to respond. How is it possible that Sayori kept this from me the entire time that I've known her? That bitch! Did she really want so badly for me to just not think about her? You don't understand at all, friend Aaron. Why do you think I didn't tell you? Because if I told you, then you wouldn't have to, you'd have to waste your effort caring about me instead of doing important things. Like decorations with Yuri. <laughs> I don't want to be cared about. It's bittersweet when people try to care about me. It feels nice sometimes, but it also feels like a bat being swung against my head. And I then can... having my brain sucked out <laughs> by a robot straw. <laughs> it feels like that. It's almost like it's happened before. <laughs> over and over and over. <laughs> For eternity. Maybe I'm depressed because half my brain is missing. <laughs> You just see like a little thing of blood like <laughs> down from the top of her head. <laughs> Whoa, what is the stitching on my head? Without thinking, I once again grab Sayori's shoulders. This time- Oh, I my shoulders! <laughs> <laughs> They're so brittle and weak from the brain sucking! <laughs> <laughs> this time I pull her into a tight embrace. Oh, hell yeah. Ah, friend Aaron! Sayori, I don't, I don't care, care if you- feel so That's you. I don't care if you feel so- <laughs> You're being so selfish by taking my line! I don't care if you feel selfish. I'm really happy that you convinced me to join the club. The festival is tomorrow. Yeah. It's gonna be fun, right? Yeah. How would you like for me to spend it all with you? Yeah. <laughs> and we're the Game Grumps. <laughs> Welcome back to oh, Game man. Grumps. By the way, we've this is episode 19, I believe. Uh, we have recorded all of these in the same day, so we are losing our minds right now. Oh yeah. Oh, I'm just waiting for the... Let's do it! The good stuff. Yuri rummages through her bag. She pulls out a few candles and a wooden cylinder-shaped object. This is for your dildo enclave. <laughs> I did some shopping on the way here, so I happen to have these in my bag. I plan to cover the windows in black paper and use the candles to light the room. I think that would be amazing, don't you? Yeah, that'd be pretty neat. Uh, what's the wooden thing, though? Oh, this? It's a diffuser for essential oils. You put it in your butt. <laughs> How familiar are you with aromatherapy? That's why you're always farting. Not yeah, familiar yeah, yeah. I'm not farting, I'm diffusing essential oils. <laughs> Is that so <laughs> It's one of my favorite contrib contributors to a positive atmosphere. Depending on the oils or herbs you, you choose, you can change the mood of the air itself. <laughs> Here, let me show you. Yeah. You... You could even feel it permeate through your body. <laughs> she again reaches into her bag and pulls out several spools of thin ribbon. What are those for? <laughs> well, you, you know how when you like put ribbon on a fan? <laughs> <laughs> Get me out. <laughs> well, did you purchase the origami paper I asked you to get? Yeah, I have it over here. Okay, 
I'm gonna swallow it. When I fart it out, it'll be a swan. <laughs> oh my god. Sorry, we've been doing this for hours and we're losing our- I'm really sorry, everyone. We won't be using the paper for folding origami. <laughs> what I'd like to do is write a different word on each paper. We'll need about a hundred of them. Oh yeah? What will those be used for? Well, I'm going to cut pieces of ribbon to hang from the doorway. This is my last resort. <laughs> <laughs> In the paper, under the roof. <laughs> <laughs> the <laughs> Took me a second. <laughs> Wouldn't that be beautiful? <laughs> suffocation, no breathing. It would also catch the eye of those passing by the room. <laughs> we'll get the suffocation, no breathing part from the essential oils. <laughs> Are you ready to move on to the next task? Yeah, let's do it. For your next physical challenge. <laughs> you must eat an entire pie. <laughs> As you scale the aggro crag. <laughs> what, what do you have in mind? I'd like to create a banner. A bruise banner? <laughs> That's why I asked you to buy the paint tablets. Shit, I forgot. Yuri leans over the banner to grab an unused paintbrush, but I move at the same time, causing my head to bump into hers. Ah! My precious brains! <laughs> this is sorry! <laughs> Yuri reels back and I quickly lift my hands in surprise. Uh, are you hurt? No, I'm not hurt. Are you hurt? She just gently puts my entire head in her mouth. <laughs> 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 it just startled me, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> could you take- could you take my head out of your mouth, please? No. <laughs> Sorry, I should have asked you to get it for me. It's not your fault. Not <laughs> your face. There are droplets of paint on Yuri's face and neck. Is there something on my face? Yes, obviously. I accidentally <laughs> got- <laughs> 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 Yeah, I accidentally got paint on you. Sorry, it's totally my fault. I got a towel right away. I rush out and fetch a small towel and then dampen it with hot water. I know the drill. You're a very thoughtful friend, Aaron. Uh, Yuri takes a step closer to me, then briefly squeezes my hand. Fourth base. <laughs> I kind of like that about you. Uh, oh, wait. It's gotta be like, I kind of like that about you. <laughs> I should have realized it sooner. But spending time with everyone at the club, making new friends, having fun with you every day, it helped me realize that you are truly the most important person to me. That's why I'll, ex I'll accept any of your burdens. As long as we continue like this every day, with you by my side, then I know we'll both be happy. Friend Aaron! Suddenly, Sayori wraps her arms tightly around me. But I changed my mind. Loading game. <laughs> <laughs> I am surprised you didn't bring Sayori with you. Yeah, she overslept again. That dummy. You'd think that on days this important, she'd try a little harder. I say that, but I suddenly remember what Sayori hey, told me yesterday. Douche. And I suddenly feel awful knowing it's not nearly that simple for her. I only said it because it's the way I'm used to thinking. But maybe I should have gone to wake her up after all? Hot, 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 hot. You should take a little responsibility for her friend, Aaron. I mean, especially after your exchange with her yesterday. You kind of left her hanging this morning, you know. Exchange? Monica, you know about that? Of course I do. I'm the club president, after all. But, I stammer, embarrassed. Did Sayori really tell her about it that quickly? That we're a couple now? I didn't really plan on bringing it up with anyone yet. <laughs> Jeez. You don't know the full story at all, so... Don't worry. I can read minds. <laughs> I probably know a lot more than you think. I reach Sayori's house and knock on the door. I don't expect an answer, since she's not picking up her phone either. Like yesterday, I open the door and let myself in. Sayori! She really is a heavy sleeper. I swallow. I can't believe I ended up doing this after all. Waking her up in her own house? That really is something that a boyfriend would do, isn't it? <laughs> in any case, <laughs> it just feels right. Outside Sayori's room, I knock on her door. Sayori? Wake up, dummy! There's no response. I really didn't want to have to enter her room like this. Isn't it kind of a breach of privacy? But she really leaves me no choice. I gently open the door. Say- WHAT?! What? Are you fucking serious? Yeah. What? No fucking what? Oh my god, is this a horror game? I don't know, Dan. Are you serious? What the hell? What the hell? Is this a nightmare? It has to be. 
This isn't real. Oh my god. There's no way this can be real. Sayori wouldn't do this. Everything was normal up until a few days ago. That's why I can't believe what This is what happens in Doki Doki Literature Club? <laughs> <laughs> my swarming thoughts keep telling me every time I could have done to prevent this. If I just spent more time with her, walked her to school, oh. and remained friends with her like it's always been, oh my fucking god. then I could have prevented this. I know I could have prevented this. Screw the literature club. Screw the festival. I just lost my best friend. Someone I grew up with. She's gone forever now. Nothing I could do can bring her back. This isn't some game where I can reset and try something different. Yeah, load and try something different. I only had one chance and I wasn't careful enough. And now I'll carry this guilt with me until I die. Nothing in my life is worth more than hers. But I still couldn't do what she needed from me. What? And now... I can never take it back. Never. 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 Oh my god. I'm actually like What? <laughs> what? Are you f Oh my god. Oh <laughs> What the fuck? It's not over, Dan. <laughs> oh my god. I wish we had face cam right now so people could see the look on my face. <laughs> it, it's like do, do you remember when I told you my Israeli relative, who I asked him what it was like uh, dealing with the uh, Palestinian uh, ver Israeli conflict in like the Gaza Strip? And he was like, It is like someone come into my house and fuck my sister near to my eyes. Like, th <laughs> that's what this feels like. Wow. Oh my god, can we do one more? You do oh, do it, one more? it erased all your empty slots. Oh, yeah. Oh, you can't undo that shit. Oh my <laughs> god. God, my fucking compliments to whoever created this game. <laughs> that, like, you are a creative motherfucker. Everyone remember tonight's assignment. Ugh. Write a poem to bring to the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over at me once more. I was telling our coworker outside in the office between grumps. I was planning to play this on my own and go out with Monica and, and jerk off to this game, and now I'm... Now I'm not gonna. <laughs> I am absolutely not gonna I, jerk You off. have lost a J.O. customer. <laughs> Friend Aaron, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. E he 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 he. Oh my god. Oh my god. God damn it. What's wrong? Uh, <laughs> you fucking know what's wrong. <laughs> did, I, I, how much did you know of this? Uh... Bits and pieces. Had you played this before? No. Uh, you, so you haven't actually seen any of this? Uh, mm, I've seen some visuals and I knew like the beats. Oh man. Yeah. So oh. that, that's why I was like, it's gonna fucking happen. Like they're like leading up I to it. I was looking forward to it so much. I thought it was gonna be like something fun and sexy at the festival. Like, and it's like a fun surprise. <laughs> hey! But no, the girl I liked killed herself. And now I'm in a weird fucking mental time loop where crazy awful shit could happen at any second. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, I love it. Let's go with chocolate. <laughs> and candy. Yeah. And peaceful. That's a good poem. Oh, god damn you. Well, I'm back at the literature club. I was the last to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. Oh god! Thanks for keeping your f promise, friend Aaron. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it. Whoa, go! Oh, I do not like this already. Oh, it's so unsettling. I'm sorry, friend Aaron. We'll make sure to put your comfort first, okay? Yuri shoots Natsuki with a disappointed glance. Um, anyway, now that you're in the club and all, Perhaps you might have interest in picking up a book to read. Sure. Also, is the... The room is tilted. The room is tilted. Yeah, and yeah I'm starting to be like... Oh, you it. know what? It's slowly zooming in, too. Yeah, yeah, something, something I write. Ooh. Oh, it's fucking with me. It's, it's making me a little sick. Here, hurry. <laughs> well, I can't really say no either way. Like you said, I'm in this club now. <laughs> so it only feels right for me to do something like that if you ask. Wait, wait. I didn't mean it like that. Uh, <laughs> if you, you don't really want to, then forget I said anything, I guess. Uh, no, it's not that, Yuri. I mean, I want to try to be a part of this club, you know? 
So even if I don't read often, I'd be happy to pick up a book if you wanted me to. <laughs> read it maybe a little bit. Are, are you sure? I just felt like... Well, as vice president and all, <laughs> that I should help you get started on something you might- I'm gonna throw up right now. <laughs> I am, like, hard to starboard. <laughs> How is this girl accidentally being so cute? She even picked out a book she thinks I'll like, despite me not reading much. Yuri, thank you, I'll definitely read this. I'm not gonna read it. <laughs> I'm dead. You throw it out the window. I- Enthusiastically take the book and immediately bury it in a box of potatoes. <laughs> Phew. Well, you <laughs> box can box of potatoes. You can read it at your own pace. Remember, we have potatoes everywhere from oh, our last that's, playthrough. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I look forward to hearing what you think. Now oh, that it <laughs> fucking thank God. Manga is one of those things where you can't admit you're really into it until you figure out where the, per the other person stands. Oh my God. She stands in front of me. <laughs> How did you know anyway? I heard you bring it up at some point. Besides, it's kind of written on your face. Uh, where's the mirror? <laughs> <laughs> What's <that? laughs> Oh my god, it says Parfait Girls. <laughs> if you're gonna judge, you can do it through the glass on that door. She points to the classroom door. You can talk to the booty because the hand's off duty. <laughs> hey, I wasn't judging anything. I didn't even say anything. It was a ton of advice. But I'll tell you one thing, Frodoon. Consider this a lesson straight from- No, judge a book, bro! Oh my god. In fact... <laughs> Natsuki crosses her arms and scooches an inch away from me. No, don't scooch away. Sorry. Scooch towards. I didn't exactly expect to be sitting this close to her either. Not that I could say it's a particularly bad thing. I open the book. It's only a few seconds before Natsuki once again inches closer, reclaiming the additional space while she hopes I won't notice. I whip out my scooch. <laughs> and then I scooch it closer to her scooch. <laughs> we scooch all night! <laughs> <laughs> We're scooching! <laughs> oh god, the room's turning again. <laughs> I can feel her peering over- is it? Yeah, I think so. I think so? I don't know. Now I'm all fucked up. I guess it's not- it's fun sharing something you like with someone else. I always get excited when I convince my friends to pick up a series I enjoy. You know what I mean? Not like this one. Hmm? You don't? Um, that's not... Well, I wouldn't really know. What do you mean? Don't you share your manga with your friends? Could you not rub it in? Oh, you don't have any manga. <laughs> <laughs> that's a shame. Why don't you borrow some from all the friends you have? <laughs> <laughs> oh, next time on Game Grumps. Jeez. Oh, next time on Game Grumps, we're All gonna right. some more Doki Doki in. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I think, I think we're probably pretty damn far in the game, so we'll, we'll probably just cruise to the end. Time passes. Natsuki is strangely quiet now. I glance over at her. She's glitching. <laughs> it looks like she started to fall asleep. Hey, Natsuki. Y yeah Suddenly, Natsuki collapses straight into me. Oh, hell yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Whoa, whoa, ah! whoa, 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 Okay. Ah! Oh, this isn't as hot as I wanted. Oh, jeez. Natsuki, are Jesus you okay? Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> Here. Monica reaches into her- Monica reaches into her bag and pulls out some kind Yo, of protein bar. Yo, unless you're gonna bar. rub that protein bar on her eyes, I don't know what the <laughs> fuck it's gonna do to her. She throws it in Natsuki's direction. Natsuki's eyes suddenly light up again. Oh, God. <laughs> she snatches the bar from the floor and immediately tears off the wrapper. I told you not to give- You're not yourself when you're hungry. <laughs> she doesn't even finish her sentence before stuffing it into her mouth. Or what you could call a mouth, I guess. Oh, God. Eagles. Oh boy. Eagles can't this fly. This fucking masterpiece. Monkeys can't climb. Crickets can't leap. Horses can't race. Owls can't seek. Cheetahs can't run. Eagles can't fly. People can't try. But that's about it. Cool. It was really good. Just as good as I remembered. <laughs> yeah. Told you that you weren't gonna like it. No, it's not that I don't like it. It's just that I, I hate, hate it. <laughs> <laughs> I like when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Like in this poem. Seeing everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening. People can do great things. I, so I decided to write about it. People can write. Yeah, I understand. <laughs> but the other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight on the wordplay. Words can play. Like I, <laughs> <laughs> like I set up for a rhyme at the end, but made it fall flat on purpose. Rhymes can fall. <laughs> it helps bring out the feeling in the last line. 
So you did... I guess more went into it than I realized. That's what it means to be a pro! I'm glad you learned something! You can learn! <laughs> Didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? There are two- there are so many different skills and techniques that go into writing even a simple poem. Like what? Your feeble brain couldn't understand it, but not just finding them and building them, but getting to work together is the pro- is probably the most challenging part. It might take you some time, but it all comes with practice, and learning by example, and trying new things. People can try. <laughs> Shut up, Natsuki! <laughs> <laughs> I'm writing my new poem! I also hope Here that can, every- yeah. <laughs> I also hope that everyone else in the club gives you valuable feedback. I'll be honest, since it is our first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little more mild. Something easy to digest, I suppose. You wanna digest my wiener? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Are you into ghosts, Yuri? Hoo-hoo. <laughs> Actually, this story isn't about a ghost at all, friend Aaron. Oh no? Really? I must have totally missed the point. Fuck yeah, you did. Well, I suppose you did only glance over it after Man, all. Man, fuck you! You said ghost in the fucking poem! I want to share- want to share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> Don't worry, friend Aaron. We are all a little embarrassed today, you know. But it's that sort of barrier that we'll all learn to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. I hand Monica my poem. Mm-hmm. I like it, friend oh. Aaron, as much as a robot can like anything. Mm hmm I mean, person. Mm-hmm. Really? It's a lot cuter than I expected. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> nope. Nope. <laughs> it kind of makes me think of something Natsu keep it right. And she's a good writer, too. People can talk. <laughs> so take that as a compliment. Ha ha ha. If you say so. Yup. If you're interested in Natsuki, then always keep a snack on you. She'll cling to you like a puppy. <laughs> da 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 da. <laughs> Natsuki's dad doesn't give her lunch money or leave her any food in the house, so she's in a fussy mood pretty often. But sometimes she just loses all of her strength and shuts down. <laughs> Like earlier, this is just a guess, but I think she's so small because her malnutrition is interfering with her adolescent growth. What the fuck? I don't- I don't know that she said that last time. Yeah, I, that- I do not recall that. <laughs> but hey, some guys are into petite girls you know. She definitely did not say this. Are there others in this room? Are they talking? Or are they simply poems on flat sheets of paper? Oh, man. Oh, man, this is getting weird. Alright, well, let's just okay. leave it be. Yeah. Ha ha! <laughs> so, what do you think? I love it! Funny, huh? <laughs> <laughs> funny, funny stuff! Mm, uh, it's very freeform, if that's what you call it. Sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. Ah, 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 it's okay. Yeah. I, there's literally nowhere I want to be less than right here, right now, in front of you. <laughs> I'm so scared! Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. What's with this language? Uh, oh, sorry. <laughs> um, did you say something? Uh, it's nothing! Natsuki dismissively returns the poem to the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Ah, oh, thanks. Yours is... cute. CUTE?! Did you complain of it's a symbolism in something?! People can't miss! <laughs> it's certainly about the feeling of giving up! How can that be cute?! Suddenly, Yuri turns towards me as if she noticed I was standing here. What's with all the fuzz?! Friend Aaron. <laughs> She- she's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true! She started it! Fred! How did I get so I don't know Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, 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 <laughs> this fucking game. <laughs> I have to go make tinkle tankles. Yeah, me too. Back. Oh, great. Let's do it together. Yeah, do it. Oh, that's fun. What if I did it up your butt? No, what? What if I, what if I just, like, as a prank, like, I just <laughs> as a prank. in your butt? Yeah. And then started peeing inside you as you were peeing. It's not gay, it's a prank. So it's, it's sort of like cleaning out your, your colon. And also you get to pee. Please stop talking. Sorry, I'm super sorry. Ah, there you are. I didn't mean to be late. I hope you guys weren't worried or anything. 
Nah. Well, not Suki was. Uh, I was not. Uh, 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 uh. What took you so long <laughs> anyway? Uh, well, my last period today was study hall. To be honest, I kind of just lost track of time. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. That makes no sense, though. Your you internal computer processor should have known exactly <laughs> what time it was. <laughs> and then Monica's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> we continue reading. Yuri no longer asks me if I'm ready to turn the page. Instead, I just assume that she finishes the page before me, so I turn it by my own volition. We That's a normal sentence. We continue the first chapter in silence. Then we do the second chapter screaming. <laughs> <laughs> Even so, turning each page almost feels like an intimate exchange. My thumb gently letting go of the page, letting it flutter over to her side as she catches it under her own thumb. Anyway, why don't we start with sharing our poems with each other? Uh, shouldn't we wait for Yuri? Well, she might be a while, so I figured we'd get started without her. Is that okay? Yeah, I was just asking. I stand up. I make a mental note of where I left off in the book, then slip it back into my bag. It rustles the potatoes around. <laughs> <laughs> really, really knocks potatoes to and fro. Uh, let's, let, we always start with, we always say Monica for last, so let's do her first. Monica? Yeah. Okay. Want to share what you wrote for today? Sure, here you go. I give my poem to Monica. Mm, all right. Great job, friend Aaron. It's been one second. <laughs> <laughs> I was going ooh in my head while reading it. It's really metaphorical. I'm not sure why, but I didn't expect you to go for something so deep. I've already scanned it in triplicate. <laughs> I, I've already uploaded it to the dark web. <laughs> I guess I underestimated you. A kaleidoscope of blood written in clocks, a time-devouring prayer connecting a sky of 40 years and open human eyes in all directions. Whoa. Breathing gearbox, breathing bolthead, breathing ship, breathing portal, breathing snakes, breathing god, breathing blood, breathing bull holy stakes. Oh my god. Breathing human eyes, breathing time, breathing prayer, breathing sky, breathing wheel. <laughs> I love it! It's very relaxing. <laughs> Oh, ha ha ha. <laughs> Short and sweet, isn't it? Doesn't really matter what it's about. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah? Doesn't it? I was taught never to expect anything from anybody. So it's not like I was waiting for you or anything. Still, you should at least look over my poem. You'll probably be able to learn something from it. <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> I love the fucking xylophones. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> the music's completely fucked up. Oh my god. Oh no! <laughs> oh boy. Well... It's beautiful. Never thought I'd yearn for the days of eagles can fly. <laughs> but here we are. Whoa Friend boy. Aaron, why didn't you come to read with me today? Oh, I was boy. waiting for <laughs> you. I was waiting for a long time. It was the only thing I had to look forward to today. Why did you ruin it? Do you like Yuri more? I think you're better off not associating with her. Are you listening to me? Yuri is a sick oh, freak. Oh, that boy. should be obvious by now. Why is this so fading just out? play with me instead. Oh, boy. Okay. You don't hate me, friend Aaron, do you? Do you hate me? Do you want Wait, me? Wait, let me hear the music. Oh boy. Her oh, this is upsetting. That's delightful. <laughs> it's her theme music. Yeah, I really like it. Do you want to make me go home crying? The club is the only place I feel safe. I don't- don't ruin that for me! Don't ruin it! Please! Just stop talking to Yuri. Play with me instead. It's all I have. Play with me! Play with me! Ah! Oh shit! <laughs> what the fuck?! <laughs> what the fuck?! You've unlocked a special poem, would no, you like to read it? No, thank you! Are you sure? Yeah, alright, I guess! Yeah, I'll read it. Oh, boy. I hate this game. So that's why we should work hard and put something together for the festival, even if it's something small. This right, game feels like a relationship Aaron? where, like, you know the girl is crazy now, and you're just trying to figure out a way out of it, but, like, you're not... You haven't... You're, you're not old enough to be, like... To have the maturity to be like, I just don't want to see you anymore. Like, you you still think like there needs to be like a graceful way out of things. Mm -hmm. So you're just sitting there at dinner, and she's just getting crazier and crazier, <laughs> and you're just like, <laughs> how's your dinner? You know, like, and th that's how I feel. Mm -hmm. That's how I feel. Mm -hmm. I feel I feel like my girlfriend just freaked out at me, 
and totally revealed that she's crazy, and now we have to finish dinner. <laughs> That's a big plate of spaghetti! <laughs> <laughs> no, friend Aaron, it's not the same! It won't be the same with the direction she wants to take it! If I wanted that, then I could've just joined any other stupid club! But this one, I mean- Could you please not move your neck so quickly like that? <laughs> I'm still- I'm still a yeah, little I'm torn up about kinda, that last time. Kinda recu recovering. Uh, it lasted still a little bit of time! Things were nice! Natsuki starts packing up her things. Potatoes fall out in yep. droves. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going home. <laughs> I'm losing potatoes. Here. <laughs> I don't even care that I'm losing potatoes by the second. <laughs> Ten, Ten minutes, minutes pass. pass. Yuri said it wouldn't take long. Is something holding her up? Oh God, no. <laughs> <laughs> like a rope. I. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice, I'm, Aaron. I'm bored just waiting here, so I decide to go look for her. Oh boy. Uh, 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 what's that noise? It's coming from around the corner. It sounds like breathing. A sharp inhale like someone is sucking the air through her teeth. Are they in pain? I reach the corner and peer around it. Oh dear god. Yuri? Kia! Oh fuck! Uh, oh no! Yeah, what? Oh, uh, God. It oh, like what it's the fuck? Hi, sorry. Uh, 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 oh, I'm back. I'm back. <laughs> I was doing a bit of thinking, and I decided that I would try expressing myself a little bit more. It turns out it's not very hard for me to do when it's you who's around, anyway. Uh, uh. That's great, Yuri. <laughs> Yuri is already totally focused on reading again. I take a chocolate candy and pop it into my mouth. Then I take another chocolate and I hold it up to Yuri. She doesn't even look away from the book. She simply parts her lips as if the situation was completely natural. So hot. But that means I can't stop here. I apprehensively place the chocolate in her mouth. <laughs> Just like that, Yuri <laughs> closes her lips over you. Uh? Yuri's expression suddenly breaks. Did... Did I just... Friend Aaron. Oh boy. My heart... My heart won't stop pounding, friend Aaron. I can't calm down. I can't focus on anything anymore. I have to dance! <laughs> I, can you feel it, friend Aaron? <laughs> Yuri suddenly presses my hand against her chest. Why is this happening to me? I feel like I'm losing my mind! With the dance fever! <laughs> I can't make it stop! I don't know how else to bring this up, but there's been something I've been worried about. Yuri has been acting kind of strange lately. You've only been here a few days, so you may not know what I mean, but she's not normally like this. She's always been quiet and polite and attentive, things like that. Okay, this is really embarrassing, but I'm forcing myself to suck it up. The truth is I'm really worried about her, but if I try talking to her, she'll just get mad at me. I don't know what to do. I think you're the only person that she'll listen to. I don't know why, but please try to do something. Maybe you convince her to talk to her therapist. I've always wanted to try being better friends with Yuri, and it really hurts me to see this happening. I know I'm going to hate myself later for a that, but right now I don't care. I just feel so helpless. So please, if you could do something to help, I don't want anything bad to happen to her. I'll make you cupcakes if I have to. Just please try to do something. She just can run. As for Monica, <laughs> I don't know why, but she's been really dismissive about this. It's like she just wants us to ignore it. So I'm mad at her right now. And that's why I'm coming to you about this. Don't let her know I wrote this. Just pretend that I gave you a really good poem, okay? I'm counting on you. Thanks for reading. Oh um, boy. No. Oh. oh. I changed my mind. Oh, Ignore everything you just boy. read. There's no point in trying to do anything. It's Yuri's own fault that she's unlikable. Can you hear me, oh, friend Aaron? Boy. If you would just spend more time with Monica, all these problems would go <laughs> away. Oh, fuck! Yuri and I are too messed up for someone as wonderful as you. Just think of Monica from now on. Just Monica. Oh, just boy. Monica. Oh, oh, just oh, Monica. Boy. Oh, just boy. Monica. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Just Monica. <laughs> Who should I show my poem to next? I think Monica would be a good choice. I choose that of my own volition. Hey, Monica! <laughs> <laughs> I thought I saw... Like, parcels? Yep. Extract... Um, okay, the, the music's we can click relaxing. off this. We can, we can, we're done. Re, re, and react and cut to tickets. Okay, cool. Whoa, oh, hello. Oh, boy. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Do you like it? I wrote it for you. In case you couldn't tell, the poem is about, I... <laughs> More importantly, I've endowed it with my scent. See, aren't I the most thoughtful person in the club? Whoa. Okay. Yeah, it's getting hot in here. I think I'm going to vomit. 
All you care about now is dragging Fenerin around with you and your stupid books. You and Monica. Hey, I didn't even do anything. Okay, then why not let Fred Aaron decide to who to help instead of abusing your power? I'm not abusing my power. Yes, you are, Monica. Just let friend Aaron make the choice, okay? Okay, fine. Fine. Is it gonna be like three Monicas? Jeez. Friend Aaron, I know how fed up you are with these two by now, but you can just... Natsuki, shut your fucking mouth and let him decide for himself. You shut your mouth! Jesus Christ. This is never going to end. Just make the choice, okay? Oh. Uh, well, I am not doing that. Oh my god! Whoa, well, did... Oh god, ah. oh, it's going back to Monica. Does it, does it automatically? Every time, ah. it's going back to Monica. <laughs> Uh, ah! Oh boy! I picked Yuri. Oh boy! Uh, okay, uh, Monica then. Yeah, Perhaps sure. Monica. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Dan you Salvato, you sick son of a bitch! You picked me, <laughs> friend Aaron. There's no need to spend the weekend with Monica. Don't listen to her. Oof. Just come to my house instead. Uh, the whole day, with just the two of us. Doesn't that sound wonderful? Ah, oh, wow, there's really something wrong with me, isn't there? <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? I don't care anymore. I've never felt this good my whole life. Oh boy. Just being with you is a far greater pleasure than anything I could imagine. I'm addicted to you. It feels like I'm going to die if I'm not breathing the same air as you. Oh, God. Oh, boy. Doesn't it feel nice to have someone care about you so much? <laughs> to have someone who wants to revolve their entire life around you? <laughs> Actually, I'm... Pretty limp as a wet noodle, Yuri. I gotta be honest with you, this isn't feels doing it for me. good! But if it feels so good... Then why does it feel more and more like something horrible is going to happen? Um... Oh, jeez, I, I don't, don't know. know. Maybe next time on Game Grumps. Maybe that's why I tried stopping myself at first. Uh, we'll find out more about this Oh my fucking god, this game. Oh, listen to that music. One. Oh my god. Tell me, friend Aaron. Tell me you want to be my lover. Do you accept my confession? Oh boy. Uh, oh boy. She's fucked if you say yes. Uh, no. Oh boy, I'm scared of what happens if you say either yes or no. Of course. Uh, I think Monica will like it if I say no. Yeah, Mon- yeah. Oh boy, I don't know. Do whatever you want, motherfucker. No. Ha 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 Ooh. Oh god, it's Clifford the big red stab wound. <laughs> <laughs> Come on now. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, that's it's fucked just, up. Just, just, uh, I don't know what you're saying, oh, but. Oh boy. Mm, oh. That's okay. a lot of gobbledygook. Yep. I want. Mm -hmm. Yikes. Okay, okay. I you would you All right. Okay, okay, yeah, okay. I, I, I cool. really don't know what she's All saying. All right, uh huh. Wrap it up, Holy Yuri. Shit, okay. Can you skip? Oh boy. Oh boy, uh, uh, I don't like it when things have changed. But I also like it very much if things changed. <laughs> oh my god. Jesus fucking Christ. Mm -hmm. Dan Salvato, you son of a bitch. I'm, so, I'm, you're, get, you're getting a strongly worried email from me, mister. I'll tell you that much. Holy crap. I'm going as fast as I can. I know. I just- I just don't want to look at this anymore. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh man, oh man, oh man. <sighs> okay. At least it's- at least I know it's changing. Yeah, that's- that's a plus. That's- that's a real plus. She does look happy. Does she? I, I don't know, she looks relaxed. Oh, she doesn't seem to be into it. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we go, okay. And we're back. Um... Is it just looping, or...? Jeez, are we gonna have to look through a walkthrough? Maybe we have to hit skip. See at the bottom it says skip? Yeah. Try hitting skip, Aaron. I don't wanna- I don't wanna seem like I'm dismissing the moment, though. <laughs> Although, at the same time... It really does feel like I'm dismissing the moment right yes, now. Yes, it fucking does. <sighs> All right. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Is it, is it just looping? Oh boy. Oh god, I hope it's not just looping. Well, oh, oh, oh no, she's like, her face she's, is changing. She's like dying. Or like... Deteriorating. Oh boy. Like the blood is coagulating. Oh boy. 
Do you just have to watch her oh, as she just, decomposes? Oh, God. Oh, Daddy no like the- oh. uh, That's fun. Okay! And Ooh. we're back! Also swelling! Also swelling! <laughs> Alright, it's festival time! <laughs> wow, you got here before me? I thought it was perfectly e yeah! Ah! Oh, oh, <laughs> oh, oh geez. Natsuki runs away. Hi yeah, Monica. There you are. Oh you oh, look, we're you in look, space. You look cute floating in space with me. Hi again, friend Aaron. Um, welcome to the literature club. Thank you. Of course, we already know each other because we were in the same class last year and um <laughs> You know, I guess we can just skip over that stuff at this point. After all, I'm not even talking to that person anymore, am I? That you in the game, whatever you want to call him. I'm talking to you, friend Aaron. Oh, fuck. Or do you actually go by oh, Aaron fuck. or something? Oh my god, what? <laughs> ah, that's scary. Now that I think about it, I don't really know anything about the real you. In fact, I don't even know if you're a boy or a girl. Oh, well, I guess it doesn't boy. really matter. Wait. How did it know your name was Aaron? Because it reads your Steam account? Uh, maybe because of my computer? Oh man, that's so fucked. Or maybe my Steam account. I don't know. Imagine if you could delete your own existence with the click of a button. Well, I guess on the plus side, it gave me an easy out if things didn't go my way. Ah ha ha ha. Thankfully, it didn't come to that. Instead, we finally got a good ending. Gosh, I'm so overwhelmed with emotion. I want to write a poem about this. Don't you? I wonder if that part of the game still works. I guess there's only one way to find out, right? I'd love to write a poem right now. Okay... Monica... Mon <laughs> Yikes... <laughs> Listen to that music. I just assumed it would be best to be part of the game like everyone else. Like that would help the two of us end up together. I didn't want to ruin the game or anything, you know. You might have gotten mad at me. Maybe even deleted my character file if you preferred playing without me. Gosh, I'm so relieved. Now we don't need to hide anything anymore. Are you ready to spend our eternity together, friend Aaron? Let me go ahead and... <laughs> There's no point in saving anymore. Don't oh, worry, it's boy. not going anywhere. <laughs> oh boy. I never thought anyone could be as horrible as you are. Oh boy. You win. Okay, you win. You killed everyone. <laughs> I hope you're happy. There's nothing left now. You can stop playing. Go find some other people to torture. Um... Mm, uh, friend Aaron, you completely, truly <laughs> make me sick. <laughs> Goodbye. Well... That was a fun little romp. Is that it? I, I you know... Well, oh, well, Fred. I still love you. What? <laughs> Son of a bitch. I can't help it. And I have never. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah. No fucking shit, dude. They're back. Yay! And she's gone. And Monica's not there. Oh man. What the fuck? Here I cannot we go. play. No, I can't do it. I can't do it. It's an ordinary no! school day, like any other. <laughs> oh god. As usual, I'm surrounded by couples and friend oh, groups walking to school together. Fuck my life. I always tell myself it's about time I meet some girls or something uh, like that. Hey, Sayori. <laughs> What's going on, baby? It's you, man. Do you know what happens from this point on, Aaron? I don't know, Dan. Like. Are we just gonna fucking play this whole thing again, just without Monica? I don't know, Dan. I swear to Christ. D should we keep playing? I don't know, Dan. Oh my god. I guess we'll find out next time on Game Grumps. I swear to fucking god. <laughs> I mean, like, where is anything I can put into my forehead? Like, anything. What about my wiener? Uh, oh, all right, almost. Anyway. <laughs> yes, finally, <laughs> Doki Doki Literature Club. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Natsuki tends to read manga in the club room. You know the <laughs> things stupid people read. <laughs> Don't just say it. For some reason, Natsuki seems embarrassed about it. B besides, manga is literature too, you know. So if friend Aaron wants to read some of my manga, then don't try to stop him or anything. You got it, crazy bitch, Natsuki. I wouldn't do such a thing. However, it could also be nice for us to diversify ourselves a little. Remember when I said I no one would miss you if you killed yourself? <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> he he could take this opportunity to try something new as well. 
Wouldn't you agree, friend Aaron? Maybe. Sensing the tension. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sensing the tension. I'm sensing the tension. <laughs> <laughs> this tension! I sensed it! <laughs> I'm jumping in! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. You almost killed me. I was surprised when you told me you were starting a club, but I think you're pulling it off just fine. We're gonna make it the best club ever! Now that you're joined, every day is gonna be so much fun! Hey, friend Aaron! I really wanna thank you. I mean, I'm really happy that you joined the club and everything. But the truth is, I oh no, I already knew you were going to! <laughs> hey! There's actually something else! I wanted to thank you for getting rid of Monica. Uh -oh. oh boy. Oh, oh god. Bo oh that That's uh... right! I know everything that she did. Oh god. Maybe it's because I'm the president now. Oh no. But I really know everything, friend Aaron. Oh god. <laughs> I know how hard you tried to make everyone happy. <laughs> oh Jesus. I know about all the awful things Monica did to make everyone really sad. But none of that matters anymore. It's just us now. Oh fuck. Oh god. And you made me the happiest girl in the whole world. I can't wait to spend every day like this with you. Oh, forever and oh, ever. Oh boy. Oh fuck. Forever. No. no. Okay. Oh no. Hey, what's happening? I won't let you hurt him. Who? It hurts. Uh oh. Ah! I'm sorry, I was wrong. Oh shit, there There's is no, no happiness, happiness here, here after, after, all. after all. Goodbye, Goodbye Sayori. Sorry. Goodbye, friend Aaron. Goodbye, Literature Club. Oh god. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ! What oh, the fu- Oh, fuck. Oh, boy. Oh, oh, fucking dicks. She's back. Is that Monica? She's back for more. Uh, 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 oh. Uh-oh. Hi, it's me. Um, Hi. so, you know how I've been, like, practicing piano and stuff? And not really any good at it yet, like, at all. Oh, boy. But, I wrote you a song, and I was kind of hoping that I could show it to you, because I worked really, really hard on it. Okay! So, yeah. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. What? Oh boy. It's really good. I love it. So much fun. Every day I imagine a future where I can be with you. Oh <laughs> god damn it. Mm -hmm. This fucking game. This, this is my fun oh. This, this is, is my final goodbye to the literature club. I finally understand. The literature club is truly a place where no happiness can be found. To the very end it continued to expose innocent minds to a horrific reality. A reality that our world is not designed to comprehend. I can't let any of my friends undergo that same hellish epiphany. <laughs> for the time it lasted, I want to thank you for making all of my dreams come true, for being a friend to all the club members, and most of all, thank you for being part of my literature club. With everlasting love, Monica. Wow. Script file is missing our club. <laughs> Please Correct. reinstall the game. Wow. So if I try to play it, it doesn't work anymore? Nope. Yep. Wow. Look at that. <laughs> A fucking weird ass game right to wait, the wait, end. Wait, wait, wait. Is that is that for true? Of course it is. When has this game ever told you it's fucking around? All the characters are still there. Oh man. DLC fan pack. Ooh. Spoiler Whoa. warning Spoiler text. Spoiler warning. What the fuck? All of the content that became contained spoilers. Oh, okay, gotcha. Oh, it's like fan art and stuff. Cool. Well, <sighs> wow. Congrats to Team Salvato. Yeah. You guys, you guys fucked with our heads. Nice and good. Thank you for fucking us. Yeah. That, that was raw. That was a lube free mind fuck. Oh, it was raw dog. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. I can tell you that. Congratulations and holy shit. Thanks for joining us on this game, everybody. You know, uh, there's, there's multiple endings. Really? Mm -hmm. What else can happen? No, we're not doing it. We're not. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Bye. <clears throat> dun, 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 dun. Aaron, I want you to go fuck yourself. <laughs>